Um, well, uh, it was a tough one at the end of the game. I thought we, you know, fought a hard um, 40 minutes in regulation, and it uh, kind of got away from us at the end. Um, we still need to fix up some things execution-wise um, on offense and defense, but I thought we showed um, toughness and, and grit throughout the game and, and growth throughout the game. So, um, obviously, all of us on the team are really disappointed in the result, but um, – we're gonna we're gonna take it and learn from it, uh, moving forward. So that's that's the main focus for us right now. It was a tough one. There were there were kind of some moments there when you know things got helter skelter or whatever, and it was kind of one of those games where called to fly it where it seemed like on both sides. But you guys got in the huddle, it seemed like Zurich, uh, Zach, FA were kind of taking a lot of vocal mm -hmm. you know, discussion. What what's kind of that like in the huddle, and what's kind of being said in those moments? Um, they're trying to keep us level-headed. I think um, Zach and F.A. have done a great job so far as being um, being a vocal leader for this team, which we need more of. Zurich as well, Sam um, Williamson as well, kind of taking that role as a vocal leader and trying to, trying to get us together. Um, and there was a lot of 50-50 balls and tough plays, and it was, it was a dog fight out there, and, you know, we came on the – wrong side of it, but um, I think we showed really great fight and uh, moving forward um, in battles like that, we want to come out on top, so we'll... At the end of regulation, when you guys are getting ready to go to overtime, what's the conversation like on the bench? Is it like drawing up specific plays or is it about effort and execution? Um, kind of, yeah. I, I would say more about effort and execution. Definitely e effort on the defensive end and making sure we're uh, moving and playing uh, off each other on the offensive end. Um, those are kind of the main points. We, we re, uh, reiterated that we wanted to try to keep them off the glass, which was a tough one tonight. They got a lot of offensive boards. Um, credit to them, too. They're, they're a really tough team, well coached, and they can shoot. So um, we were trying to limit limit the amount of threes and second chance points, and then um, trying to play try to play off each other on offense, playing inside out. Um, but. That was kind of the conversation at the end of regulation. Does a loss like this, where you led for off and on for much of the game, uh, and then obviously you know, lost by four at the end, but does a loss like this hurt more than if, you, if you're sort of overmatched or if you're on one of those nights where shots aren't falling and it's sort of decided early? Is this one tougher to take? Um, I'd, say, I'd say they all hurt, but this one in particular, because I, I, think, we, uh, I think we came out and really showed fight and um, toughness, so to come on the, to come uh, to come up short was really tough for our team. But I think with this team moving forward, um, we're gonna learn from it and we're gonna grow for sure. Um, you know, learning to be in those tough games and those tough spots and having that experience to know, you know, looking side to side and each of your brothers got your back. So we're gonna have to take this one on the chin for sure. But. Um, but um, for sure, this one this one hurts, and we're gonna learn from it, and we're gonna get better from it for sure. Is that kind of the focus of some of these early games? Is just kind of finding those learning moments, good or bad, to to take with you throughout the rest of the season? Yeah, yeah, that's uh, it's kind of been our main focus. You know, obviously we're playing to win every game, but um, it's early, and we're still getting used to playing with each other as a team. So um, we can't we can't wallow in it. The season the season's going so. If we wallow in it, we're going to be stuck. So we got to we got to see what we we can improve on, see what we did bad, and execute that in practice, and and just be ready to bring it for the next game. Zero Phelps had 21, nine rebounds, five assists. Obviously, it's only your first year playing with mm -hmm. him, but you're also around him every day. Mm -hmm. Is this the best you've seen from him? I thought so far this season, this has been the best, and I think um, offensively. Most of the guys on this team know what he can uh, do, but I think he really brought it um, as a two-way player on the defensive end tonight, and we we need it from him every night because when he plays defense like that and he's scoring the ball, he uh, he changes the energy of our team. It gives us a spark, and we all we all look at him. So um, we need that from him more often for him to you know set the tone, and uh, we're gonna follow his lead. Um, so we need him to do that for us. But definitely excited to see him. Um, play well, and we'll all improve uh, as we move forward. You talked about this one hurting a lot, obviously. You come back Saturday, what's the key to bouncing back from a 
disappointment like this? Um, good performance on Saturday? Um, definitely capitalizing on things we did well on defense tonight. Um, uh, we got improved rebounding. We gave up too many offensive boards tonight. And just on offense, really trusting each other and um, playing off each other and uh, really playing off ball movement. Um, I thought we did better tonight with moving the ball and playing off each other, but we could always, you know, we can always improve. Um, and defensively, just, you know, we've established ourselves as um, as a team with a defensive identity. So um, really keying in on that, getting on the boards and just um, playing tough all around for a full 40 minutes. That's uh, That'll be our goal moving forward for the next game. Um, obviously, uh, not the outcome that we wanted. Hard, hard fought game, and um, you know, I think the uh, the New Mexico game, notwithstanding, we're starting to develop a personality as a team that fights, and so we got something to continue to build on there. Um, but it wasn't enough fight, and then the, the execution has to rise to the level of the fight we aspire to have. But you know, key stat in the game, there are uh, 16 offensive rebounds that led to 18 second chance points in a, in a game that close um, is really significant. And um, and then, we, you know, we had some key turnovers, but uh, uh, all in all, uh, I'm proud of the guys and I want them to see the forest for the trees now because uh, we've got a chance to continue to, to build on some real character as a tough, competitive team. And then we need to complement that with better execution. And, uh, you know, we've got, we got some real upside here going forward, I think. Yeah, I think I think you want for the kids to get the payoff, you know, so that it can uh, so that they can continue to internalize all of the things that we're trying to instill in them, and uh, it gets internalized when you when you get the payoff a little bit more. So uh, it'll come, but certainly you'd like to have taken a big step tonight against a really good team with a lot of veterans, and for us to you know, uh, be in a hard fall game and find a way to win it up three in overtime. And if we could put together some stops um, and get some rebounds, we could have had a chance to close it out. And so, uh, uh, but there's a lot uh, for us to, to, to build on. When, when it's kind of getting crazy out there in a game like that, balls are kind of flying all over and some of the turnovers, you guys are talking it out on the court. They're bringing discussion back to the huddle just seemed a little bit more animated maybe than sometimes in the past. What's that discussion kind of like with them? And, you know, it didn't seem like anything you guys necessarily, like, had a problem with. You guys were just you know, kind of letting them talk it out. What's that like in the huddle? Well, I think they're coming together to get closer as a team. And um, the best teams that I've been around, and we're, we're, not, we're not a great team. We're trying to become good. But – one of the things we have to develop is uh, a level of accountability inside the group and the willingness to uh, communicate whatever the message might be and the willingness to receive it. And I don't think there was anything toxic in the communication whatsoever. I think the communication was positive and they were trying to find a way to, to win it. And they wanted to believe we're going to do it. Um, and this is... Uh, you know, an overtime game, this is the second time that we've been in the, with the game in the balance and a really hard-fought game. And all of these experiences matter, even the ones that don't go your way. It is good to be in these. This team doesn't have any experience together, but now they do. You know, they've, uh, they know what it's like to get beat bad. They know what it's like to win together. They know what it's like to be in hard-fought games and not come out on top. And... And each experience is going to be something that we'll be able to draw from. And uh, I think the, the communication is good in that regard. So this is the second time you've had a game in the balance in the, in the last minutes. Did you see a difference in the way your team handled tonight? I did. Um, I, I thought, uh, you know, at Dayton, 
down one with two and a half minutes to go. Um, we had, we didn't have enough good possessions to, to put real game pressure on at the very end. And in this case, we, we got down and we fought back and got, got the game to overtime. And in overtime, we got up by three. And, uh, and then we didn't have enough stops. You know, again, we, we talk all the time about what we call kills, getting three consecutive stops. And we, if we get eight of those, we win. You know, uh, against Evanville, that was the first time we had gotten that goal of eight. And tonight, um, we, we had three in the first half, none in the second half. And three consecutive stops in the overtime might have been the difference in the game. Um, so that next level of toughness to, to, to finish it out, um, I, I don't think we got any finger pointing or anything like that. I think the guys are great. I do think guys point the finger at themselves too much, like they lost the game. And um, I, I don't want any of these guys to look at it like that. I want them to look at it like we're all in this together. And, and uh and, and and that's the reality of it. And so they'll see that in due time, and we just got to get better. What did you see from Efe tonight? It seemed like he had his best game and, and really kind of, you know, was locked up on defense against their best player and also got it going offensively. Yeah, he was a warrior tonight. He really was. I was proud of him. Played a lot of minutes against a terrific player. and. Uh, I thought F.A. had some gas left in the tank, and I thought Brown had tired a little bit down the stretch, but he's a really, really talented guy and a load to deal with, and it's a credit to F.A. how well he battled, and he left a few points on the board tonight, but uh, all in all, uh, really proud of him, and, and uh, you know, he's got to cut down on the turnovers, but some of those weren't his fault. You know, sometimes guys throw him the ball, and they just stand around like it's Kim Olajuwon instead of moving and cutting. And we talk about it. They do it in practice. And then we just uh, – we got to get better at carrying practice over to the games in the heat of a game like that. And uh, But uh, proud of F.A. for sure. At the end of regulation, when the teams went to their benches, some of your guys were – their heads were down. Whether it was disappointed that they didn't close it out or maybe it was just exhaustion, but – in that break when you were talking to your team, how much of your message was psychological and enthusiasm and energy as opposed to X's and O's? Yeah, that was, that was, that was it. Um, but I thought it was more exhaustion. I don't think they were dejected. You know, we were actually down three and we tied the game. Um, and then we tried to run a play at the end and we didn't execute it very well. Thankfully, they didn't steal it and make a shot. And, um, but, I, I don't think they were dejected. I thought they were energized about the opportunity, and I was just trying to give them some perspective on. And we were talking about trying to get three consecutive stops and what that would mean the, the rest of the game, and we, we didn't manage to do that. You had your best shooting night from the floor, and then yet your worst shooting night from the free throw line. What did you kind of see in those two, two aspects of the game for you guys? Well, um, it's always good to see the ball go through the basket. And um, I think that's part of our growth with, you know, there's a lot of new teams all over the country, but there's so many guys who are playing in a role that they've never had at this level before. And even the guys that are back have a role that they've never had here. So um, the comfort of what we're doing and where your shots come from, et cetera. Uh, I think you saw us settle in to some of those things, and guys were taking their shots in the flow of the offense and made some. And there's a level of trust that you have to have that it's going to come back to you, right? And uh, so we, we started to develop that, and I think that's why you saw the ball going a little bit more tonight. But I also think that as the game – in the waning minutes of the game, we, we got away from that a little bit. And so, um, but we, we, we took some real steps in the right direction. The free throws, uh, you know, I, I've never known how to coach free throws. It's such a mental thing. And the best way to make free throws is have good shooters step up there. And we had good shooters miss them. So um, maybe a little bit tired, I don't know. But uh, that's, that's just one of those things that uh, didn't go our way. Back up for another performance and a better 
Sunday, actually. Um, yeah, it, it's uh, the same thing, win or lose. You know, we break the game down, the good and the bad, try to learn from it, and then get on the practice floor and and uh, and work on the things that we need to make progress in. And, um, and then we'll, you know, there'll be uh, several people doing some cooking. Uh, there'll be some cooking going on at my house included, and my family's here, so that's great. And we'll have some guys over, whoever, you know, doesn't have somewhere to go, we'll have somewhere to go. And uh, so we'll, 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 we'll try to enjoy the, the holiday and, uh, and get some work done, and then we'll turn the page and get ready for Sunday.